welcome back dear friends uh, today we are going to discuss about debutanizer simulation in HiSys. so this is the third part uh, of uh, the oil refining processing uh, simulation and in the end of this tutorial you will be able how to simulate the butanizer column to stabilize the naphtha and to recover light petroleum gas so in part one we perform simulation to generate petroleum assay and we simulate to have our energy and material balance for crude oil preheat drain and then in the second part we did simulation for atmospheric crude distillation cdu unit and in third part today we are going to perform simulation for debutanizer the purpose of debutanizer is to remove the light ends from the naphtha and to 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 stabilize it okay so the light and like propane uh, ethane uh, butane so they will be removed by a debutanizer and uh, in the bottom we will have a stable naphtha so this is today's task so let's begin with aspen hysis and uh, uh, sorry uh, this one is the debutanizer column data that we will use so the feed preparation we have to insert uh, feed at a higher pressure compared to the atmospheric distillation column okay so we need a pump to increase the pressure and also we are uh, putting at a higher temperature so we need one preheater okay so let's start so this one is the uh, flow sheet that we construct in previous uh, tutorial so i am just giving the links for both the first one and for the second one in the description just go and check if you did not already watch those videos so let's start we need one pump we need one heater and we need one distillation column okay for that go to separators and click distillation column okay so just close this one uh, double click on pump the inlet is naphtha and the outlet i just put just random number energy is uh, maybe q naphtha okay and uh, go to the worksheet and here the pressure for this pump uh, is increase uh, is given so the pressure should be 250 psig okay so just increase 250 psig okay so the pump is uh, simulated okay so the next step is a heater because we uh, we have to increase the uh, temperature of a feed the outlet i will say debutanizer feed okay go to the worksheet and here the uh, temperature uh, instead of 147 the feed temperature is 250 degree fahrenheit okay so just and 250 and uh, go to design go to parameters and delta p is negligible so we are just putting zero so the heater is also simulated okay so now let's uh, start to simulate debutanizer i will change its name debutanizer okay and uh, its total condenser the stream uh, condenser energy debutanizer q c reboiler energy 
debutinizer q r okay and uh, overhead uh, liquid is liquefied petroleum gases that we are saying lpg and the water draw from top so we will say debutinizer uh, water maybe overhead water okay the bottom product is stable naphtha okay and uh, the number of stages they are 50 let me check the number of stages are 45 okay and uh, the feed location is 22 45 and 22 45 and uh, 22 okay so the first uh, 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 screen is fully specified go to the next and here we have uh, uh, once through regular high c3 boiler that is uh, very similar like to kettle type so we will choose that one next one is condenser pressure and reboiler pressure they are given so the condenser pressure 150 and the reboiler pressure 160 and the pressure drop is zero okay 150 and 160 so this one is 150 but it's psig and this one is 160 but in psig okay click next this is the optional we are just leaving like this and uh, the flow basis are volume the flux ratio is given that is 1.5 and liquid rate of overhead product is also given so the reflux ratio is 1.5 okay and uh, the product overhead product is lpg and the flow rate is 5500 barrel per day 5500 uh, barrel per day okay then just click done okay once you uh, specify the column then go to the parameters now we have to specify the efficiencies okay and uh, all trays have efficiency of 0 0.8 so just select the all the trays okay so just specify now you can see all the trays except condenser and reboiler uh, all of them have 80 percent of efficiency uh, after that go to the design go to monitor and now you can see uh, the degree of freedom uh, for this column operation is zero and we are ready to run the simulation just click on run and you can see the column is already converged okay so uh, just go to the performance and here you can see the overhead product flow rate is given here uh, pounds mole per hour so 731 pound mole per hour is the flow rate of lpg and uh, 22,200 uh, 22, pound mole per hour is the stable nafta and the, similarly you can see the composition so uh, in lpg there will be the mainly light components like ethane propane until and pentane and uh, the heavy components are uh, all of them are zero but on the other hand if you go to the naphtha so in naphtha the light ends are zero you can see and the elements which uh, uh, which lies in the naphtha cut range so only the, those are present here so this is the way how you can uh, uh, 
uh, simulate debutanizer uh, in Aspen Hysis. Uh, I hope you understand it and like this tutorial. Uh, in next video, we are going to simulate uh, vacuum distillation column to further process the atmospheric uh, column residue. Okay, so where we will have a uh, uh, Liu boils from this atmospheric residue in vacuum distillation. So uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Until next video, take care. Bye bye.